What's up everyone? Welcome to my very first Photoshop project. And these projects I'm going to be doing are um, not teaching you how to use Photoshop, but teaching you how to do something specific and often awesome in Photoshop. So in this first project, I got a picture of myself here and I'm going to be giving myself a black eye. So let me just zoom out so you can see what this picture looks like. I try to look like a thug since uh, a bunch of thugs usually have black eyes. So go ahead and zoom in on the eye portion of the project right here. Let me just center mine. And once you have the eye, what we're going to be doing is going over to the lasso tool right here. And what we want to do is make an outline of where we want to, the bruise or black eye to be. So let's just go along um right about here and right there there you go it's going to be a pretty big black eye now if you're going around the eye which we're not going to be doing this time but you want to cut out the center of the eye hold down the alt tab to cut it out now that we have this lasso tool right here we don't want these edges to be directly cut since a bruise kind of fades out as your face goes on. So go ahead and press Alt Control D, hold it all down, and you'll get this little box that says Feather Radius. Go ahead and select 20. Um, you can do more. Actually, go ahead. Actually, 20 is fine for now. Anywhere from 10 to 25 is really is uh really all right. Go ahead and click OK. And what this does is instead of getting us a fine line it'll begin to fade out on the edges which is exactly what we want next when you're done with that go ahead up to image adjustments and go down the variations what this is gonna allow you to do is allow variations to that selection where you just made so right here we have our original and you can see our current is right here Keep it at mid-tones and about right in the middle. First thing we want to do is add a touch of green, a touch of yellow, and a touch of magenta. Now you can see our current pick is beginning to turn into kind of a black eye. But again, it needs a little more magenta. And make sure your current pick is right here. Let's give it a little bit more. Uh, that might be good for the magenta. Now let's start adding some red and maybe that's probably good for the red maybe a tidbit more there we go now once you got your current pick exactly how you want it go ahead actually I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hit my one more time there we go this is gonna be a pretty nasty black eye go ahead and click OK and as you see your selection will automatically change and make sure you note the fading on the side that's what we did with the feather so once you got your fading just how you want it, move your lasso out of the way by holding the control key on your keyboard and pressing D. This deselects the lasso. Now as you can see, if we zoom out, we have a pretty sweet black eye going on, but it ain't sweet enough. So let's go ahead and zoom back in, and what I like to do just for a little extra touch is go back to the broom or the brush and go down to darken and color burn. First I'm going to darken it. I like to put mine in about well your screen will probably be different depending on your picture. Put yours about a hundred and use this little fading tool right here. And then once you got that begin to darken the oops don't want to do that. Begin to put the opacity at a hundred and put the flow down to about three two or three now you can begin darkening the edges and as you can see you can darken all the spots that are usually dark since a bruise since a bruise isn't always perfect so let me just darken up some edges here and now for the final touch once you're done with darkening go down to color burn Keep all the same settings. I have my brush on 100 with fading, opacity 100, flow about 2. Then start giving it some final touches. Maybe bring my brush down a bit. 
Maybe we'll bring that down to about 65. And as you can see, now it looks like we got cut up just a little bit more. So now if you see, if we zoom out, we have a nice realistic looking bruise. And you could um, uh, play around with this a little more. Maybe I should have put a little more fading right there. But those are the basics of how to add a bruise to your face. And uh, you can go ahead and show all your friends and make them believe it. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and make sure that you're watching these tutorials in high depth. Trust me, they make a world of difference. So I uh, again, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.